That would be awesome. Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. Heck yeah, do it. <laughs> All right, you ready? Oh, I know. Take it off. All right, made in flight. Whoa! That's much better. Oh, shit. Slow down. I'm trimming. Hold on. <laughs> this is the maiden flight on this one, yeah. We figured it out with the last one. Okay. What, Jeff? We figured it balance out with the last one. What is this thing? I'm sorry? What is the name of this thing? Uh, Combat HB1. It's printable. Uh, I printed it on my uh, Ender 3 B2. Yeah. And uh, the wing is uh, white cardboard from the dollar store. Electronics are from... Uh, get FPV and race day quads. Reason I said that is I fortunately had my grandson <laughs> who uh, ordered them for me. Does this one have different throws than the other one? I don't think it does. It feels like it does. It doesn't feel as maneuverable as or you know but toss. It has a flat bottom wing. Yeah. Oh, this is a flat bottom wing. Yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So this one's going to need more actual control authority. It'll do inside loops, but it won't do outside loops. Well, no, like what I mean is, is like I'm full up right now. Like it doesn't have the, the, the authority the other one had that we just flew. I mean, it's still maneuverable, but you could tell even by the roll rate, the other one's faster. Exactly, yes. Maneuverability wise, the other, the other one's definitely but faster. Straight off the 3D printer, this is his Virgin Flight right here. And uh, from what I see, it's... Uh, Beautiful flying airplane. That flies good. It does fly good. I mean, for a foam board 3D printed airplane, and I got to say, this is my first time flying 3D printed aircrafts. <laughs> it really is. I've never flown 3D printed airplanes. And what do you think about it? They fly like a... Like an airplane. They fly, fly like an airplane. There's only one thing I don't like about it. Damn Fataba radio. Forget about the radio. I just happened to have it. Is this one as fast as the other one? They should be the same power, if I remember it, right? We ordered the same motors. Yes. Same motor, same ESC. Electronics are identical yeah. in the two versions. Same servos? Yes. Everything's identical. On uh, this one, though, I had to uh, go with uh, factory horns on the control surfaces. Yeah. Because for whatever reason, my printed uh, horns just wouldn't stick. I'm assuming I need. I forgot to clean them off with uh, alcohol before I tried to hot glue them in. Or a little sandpaper. That probably would have helped. Drill a couple holes in them too, like doing carbon fiber, yeah. Yeah. fiberglass horns. But for a 3D printed That's aircraft. It's a good flying little airplane. It is a good flying little airplane. It's amazing though, you would have never thought that the CG on that wing would be one inch back from the leading edge. But proof's in the pudding right there. Yep. I'll tell you, though, the next one I print, that nose will be a little longer. Yeah. And it'll probably be a little wider so I can put a heavy battery or a bigger battery. Yeah, 1300 would be perfect. 1300 wait, 3S. You use, I'm using the 1000 million, what it called for. Yeah, I'm using wood. I'm trying to figure out why he's, he called for a 1000 milliamp. He and, says that's all he could find that would fit his hole. Sounds to me like he designed the thing from something else. Yeah. He didn't know how to modify his print. So how in the hell is he flying it? I I'm don't... not sure he is. You notice you never see a flight video? Well, we're going to have one now. And that's the one with the, with the straight tail, flat bottomed airplane. Yeah, non-V-tail. the other one is semi-symmetrical with a V-tail. That's a great flying little airplane. It is a good flying little airplane. Power is perfect for combat. You're welcome. I know you started it, but here it is flying. Thank you. <laughs> Thank me. Hey, it's a group effort. Yes. It is. It's that's, a joint effort. That's it. That's part of designing something and flying it. And we got the main pilot. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm kind of... Hey, his <laughs> reflexes are a lot faster hey. than mine. But just like me, I've been crashing left and right. Yeah, you'd have been doing the same. I yep. Yes, I would have. Yes, I would. We got the we got the but right pilot. When him and I get together, though, we can usually figure anything out. 
got the right pilot. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. One thing I can fly, figure anything out, it's a delta wing. I've done way too many of these things. But you wouldn't think that the CG would be that far forward. Proof's right there. Oh, we got you a lamp. We're out of power. I told what I said from the get-go, 15 to 25%. That ain't no 15%. Well, it's a nine-inch wing. Seven. All right, seven-inch wing. Look at that. Perfect. Nice job, right. That is what it is. Basically, a foam board wing, 3D printed fuselage. Stupid simple. This is the semi-symmetrical. Yes. And what are the, the props are six fours, right? The props are six fours. This one here is probably a five two right now. Oh, <laughs> well, still four degrees or four inches of pitch. Yeah, four oh, degrees okay. of pitch. It's just like a five inch prop. The yeah. wing is made from dollar store piece of 20 by 30. Uh, yeah, this one's a lot more maneuverable. This is the, this is definitely the best for combat. Well, I made both. I put a V-tail on this because I just thought it would look cooler. Yeah, no, this one's definitely a lot more maneuverable. It might be the throws, but it, I'm pretty sure it's the I'll semi. I'll bet you it's the semi-symmetrical wing. All right, because it's not creating as much lift whenever you're flat. So you don't have to put as much down. It's going to give you more control. Yeah, this is definitely much better. I think the colors show up pretty good in this sky. Yeah, the red and white is a good color scheme. But 3D printing an airplane evidently is going to start getting a foothold. Uh, I mean, people do it. There's a lot of 3D printed airplanes out there. Yeah, but put up with this like the first time you flew it. <laughs> yeah, when I crashed hard, it. Hit the, hit the hard driveway hard because we were like an inch and a half back on CG. Yeah. That was a devil of a learning experience. That would have been good to have on video. But it's even hit the, the runway as hard as it did. Yeah, it all hit hard. Chip the, huh? It hit hard. Yeah, all it did is chip the prop down. You know, maybe I should be going with a five inch prop. I would stay with the six just for, cause you're, I mean, I don't know. You're not gonna be really flying full throttle all the time in combat, are you? You're, that's what you fly. Actually, you fly a little slower. Cause you got to give yourself time to be able to find the other guy's tail i would leave the six just so you have that 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 larger disc uh area for thrust yeah okay All so right, if you have sense. to pull out of something you can how much up free thrust uh probably like an eighth to quarter inch up maybe about an eighth is uh, all you're gonna need that looks pretty good kid that looks pretty good yeah want me to throw it yeah you're gonna go up? I'm gonna try. I'll throttle back so we can fly together. Yeah. Flying a little different, Ken. <laughs> That's smooth. Is it flying now? Yeah. What power setting are you at? I'm wide open right now. Wide open? Yeah, but I'm running a... Uh... He doesn't have as much motor as you have. That motor you had me buy from wherever it was. Yeah, get FPV. Yeah. It's got like twice the power of his. What motor are you flying? Emax. Emax uh, uh, 22, 2305? Yeah, 2305. What KV? Uh, the same one they recommended. Uh, that would be... Uh, 2300? Yeah. 2300. Well, you see, I'm running I'm running a different prop. What prop are you running? I'm running a quadcopter prop. Oh, this uh, is just a standard... Uh, APC 6x4. You got it. 664, yeah. You're you running an APC 64. Oh, by the way, you're welcome, kid. Thank you. I think my aileron's a little bit sensitive. Well, turn them down. Yeah, 
absolutely amazing. It flies good. Well, I'm glad you like it. It's fun to fly. Now that's two 3D printed planes in the air. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna change props, that's for sure. What KV are you running, 2300? Yeah. It's gotta be the prop. It's got, something's up. Well, it went to throw it. It didn't have not only, power. but just because they're the same KV motors don't mean they're the same power. I've learned that a long time ago. Yeah, it's only kind of like a rule. Are you riding like, an Emax motor? I, I'm a T-motor person, but for these, yeah, I've been, we bought the Emaxes, and they've, they've got good power. And they're cheap. Expensive. They're real cheap. What were they? Fourteen bucks? Seven? Yeah. Fourteen bucks? And the ESCs were seven dollars. Yeah, but you had to buy. I had to get a micro know, BECs. Yeah, a BEC because the speed controller. Because they, uh, these are quad motors. Yeah, a quad. I'm, roll, I'm rolling. I'm not even using half throws. But what ESC are you running? You're. What do you see? You in? I'm running a 30 amp. Uh, 32 bit or regular? Regular. Throw There's... a 32 bit in and see the power difference in your motor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that's a quad motor. It needs a yeah. 32 bit. Uh... I gotta land them out of power. Yeah, throw a 32 bit ESC in there and you'll see the difference in power. Yeah, I don't even have enough power to do a good. Perfect. Thing. That was a real nice one. Thank you.